Hello and welcome to another episode of Gyromonk Plays, a Spelunky Gyrolog style, uh, where a man tries to, attempts to, have casual conversation while playing one of the most difficult games on the planet, in the generation, in the area that we're supposed to be in right now. Okay. Um, yeah, let's play as a furry dude. Oh my god, he admitted. Um. <laughs> <laughs> That's my. I, I I don't think I'm even quoting. I think you should leave at that point. I think I'm quoting people that are quoting. I think you should leave. Um, but you know that's just uh that's just the way of the uh, the world. Um, what was I gonna say? I was gonna talk about more of the mailman stuff. But like, I first of all, we're doing the daily for March eighth. If anyone cares. Uh, if, if if anyone's like playing the dailies as well, and uh, <laughs> is at my skill level, which uh, I don't know if any if if anyone is still playing Spelunky, if you're at my skill level, because I don't know, maybe you're just a glutton for punishment. Yeah, just a sucker for pain. Something like that. Um, but I did want to talk about Pure Leaf Sweet Tea. Um, it is a real brewed tea, never from powder. I, <laughs> this is not, <laughs> this is not a product placement. I, I'm actually here to say that it's like not as good as like Arizona. Um, and it. I get their whole premise. I get the oh come on. Let me let me see if I can find a charger. Mm. No, if I plug it in now. If I plug it in now, it's gonna die midway. Alright, so I, I know that doesn't really make sense. But we're just gonna keep on trucking here. Hopefully it lasts until the end of the run, or the end of the video, because the end of the run might happen in like two seconds if we... <laughs> <laughs> if we land on the spikes. Um, yeah. Pure Leaf, I, uh, Sweet Tea, they're the ones that come in the fancy bottles. It's like they're fancy and they know it. Do -do 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 -do. Yeah, you know how it goes. And uh, I I get it. They taste more like actual tea. But I think when I, whenever I pick up a bottle of sweet tea, I think I actually really want some sugar water, like actual water with just sugar. And a lot of people might be turned off by that, but like for me, that's what I want. You know. Like I, I don't. There's no. There's no. Uh, being embarrassed about it, you know. Like people drink soda, uh, carbonated drinks. It's just not water with sugar in it. It's actually really bitter at first. It, it's more bitter than than regular water. So you're adding more sugar to it actually to make it sweeter. It's weird. And people want to make fun of me. For just wanting sugar with my water, I don't know if people are actually making fun of me, but in my in my head canon they are. Um, maybe in my head canon they always are. <laughs> All right, we're gonna kill this guy. I've been listening to Twitch chat for too long. They've been rotting my brain, eating me from the inside out. I'm sorry, I've been listening to a lot of metalcore. You guys listen to like metalcore, like uh, O Sleeper or like uh, Norma Jean. I don't, I don't know what the genres are. Most people just discount any music with screaming. Um, I had this conversation with my wife uh, the other day, and I was like, it's like calling like jazz and classical music, like old people music. And he's like, uh, she, she goes, um, that doesn't make any sense. That's a generalization. I'm like, yeah. 
No, that does make sense because it's it's a generalization of like uh, of people that listen to 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 quote unquote metal. Wait, why aren't you walking around? Is he a decoy? I know the shopkeepers are mad at me, bro. Are you glitched? Is he trying to pull a fast one on me? I'm gonna keep you alive just cuz it seems like you've surrendered to the cause <laughs> I get it I get it he he bent the knee I am Daenerys Targaryen bend the knee okay okay um let's see do we have uh can we still make Game of Thrones references? Is, is it still cool or is it forever besmirched by their their own doing? Um, are, are they uh, are they a cursed topic? Because I know it was well beloved did, 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 by all of nerd culture. You know, it was like Star Wars, Game of Thrones. Well, Star Wars Star Wars is like Lord of the Rings, I guess. Um, or I, I meant Game of Thrones is kind of like in that Lord of the Rings sphere. It's like Lord of the Rings, but for adults. And uh, I say, how dare you? Lord of the Rings is just more uh, palatable by children as well. But it, you know, it had grown up themes. <laughs> oh boy, oh boy. This is okay, good. You just need to keep them away from the shotgun. Keep Grandpa away from the shotgun. Okay, okay, this is kind of dangerous. But he has no more shotgun. I have no more health. <laughs> okay, okay, we're good. What did I tell you about <laughs> playing with the shotgun, Grandpa? <laughs> Uh, you end up killing your, uh, your other two nephews. <clears throat> Wait, what, what's it called when a grandpa has, like, a brother that has a grandson? I, you know, if you, if you gave me, like, a, like, a test, um, as to what familial words are, Oh, no, no, no. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, I... <laughs> okay, you, you see what was going on there, right? We were trapped by the bat that was closing in on us. And then the, the frog bomb that really wanted to blow up the shrine. Okay, so first of all, I, I acknowledge the honeybee. <laughs> thank you, thank you. No, get. Oh my, he's a freaking. He's a sniper, dude. All right, let's start up another one. We have time. 169. That's a blessed number. Um, let's start one more run. We're go we're going. Okay, so here's the thing. I know I've only killed Olmec, but we do quote unquote go for Yama every time. Um, that's why I always go for the Ujit Eye. I'm always going for the Ankh. Um, maybe the first time we we saw the uh, the uh, Easter Egg Island head uh, on the ice area, I, I skipped it, but no more. If we have the Ankh. We're gonna go for the for for the hell run, okay? No more fake wins for you. <laughs> but I do take them as consolation prizes. It feels nice to see like a. I don't know. It's a dopamine hit whenever it's whenever you see end credits, right? Of any game. That's that's the thing about roguelikes and road lights. Road lights. 
Okay, we're good. I, I, sorry, I turned it to Courage the Cowardly Dog. Courage the Cowardly Dog Show, starring Courage the Cowardly Dog. I don't know. I have fond memories of that show. I, I think everybody does. Let me lower the gate, by the way. It's been bothering me to no end. Um, duh, 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 duh. It's right there. Real gate. Hello. Can I talk like this? I could talk really quietly and you could still hear me. There we go. Let me save these <laughs> settings. And we're good. It's that easy. That's the thing about knowing a thing or two about music. Um, before you start uh, content creating, your content creation. It helps, you know, having a little bit of a background. Who knew playing bass for eight years would uh, actually turn into something? I was trying to just be, you know, like a... When you play bass, and you're not like, you're not like flea or anything like that. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, we deserve that. Uh, and you're not like a flea or you're like, you're, you're, you're basically just a regular old bassist you're you're supposed to find a front man that's gonna carry you to victory you know it's like being a really good support player or a really good tank um, and I've, I've made this reference before but you need like a god of a hold on hold on focus you need basically like an aimbot talent at your helm at the DPS. That's why, you know, whenever I play competitive games, we got Cram, we got Scopes. <laughs> you got me sometimes doing something. Um, I don't really want this. Can I whip it and have you not be mad at me? I'm whipping it the wrong way, though. too far he he has that shotgun at the ready dude okay here we go this is the run this is the run it's gonna be like a 30 minute video but I, I have a, a hunch that you guys don't care I have a slight hunch that you guys are mad at the 15 minute videos but look look I, I have I have time restraints as an adult as an adult trying to make videos no, nope don't misquote me on that. I'm not trying to make adult videos. That is a different profession altogether, and I would make way more money and uh, possibly have more fun, but I don't, I don't think so. I, I think video games are my thing. Um, <laughs> this went to a really strange place. I, uh, okay. No! There'd be a lot less blood involved, though, I would say. Uh, maybe I don't know people are into weird things. It, it depends on where the the audiences are. I, I'm gonna stop while I'm ahead um, Okay, where's the damsel I hear you I do not see you Okay, do you guys want to hear more mailman talk instead of uh um, <laughs> adult video industry talk. Um, <laughs> my family might be listening to this. Uh, here we go. Okay, we're gonna blow this up. So, some people like immediately might be like, "Why the heck did you go for that profession? Isn't that like what old people do? Isn't it like gonna be?" Uh. Irrelevant in a couple years. <laughs> um, people still send out snail mail, uh, you know that kind of thing. I look. Here's the thing. There's there's a there's a myriad reasons why. Okay, we're good. We're good. 
No, 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 wait, oh, hold on, hold on. I want a replay of this. Did he pull out another shotgun or was there another shotgun like that he was selling? All right, here, it's the, it, we're past the 15 minute point. A lot of times I would just stop, but you guys deserve better than this. <laughs> this embarrassing showing. Look, I've been, I promise I've been practicing. I'm still going to carry you. Um, okay, we're good. Good, good. Oh, a crate. Whatever can it be? It's like a, it's like a happy meal. Yo, I can't carry her to the next area and like make her see the uh, future version of herself well and alive. I, I think it would probably freak out the other damsel, wouldn't it? Hmm. Like if I brought the dead body to, to this one, this one would probably be like, uh, uh, turn evil and start attacking me. That'd be funny. Um, <laughs> so yeah, mailman. Uh, I don't know. Well, uh, I was trying to find jobs that I would enjoy more than the one I was at. I, I was taking phone calls, supporting a software for uh, um, a company that's pretty big around here. Like whenever I told people I worked at where I worked, they're like, "Ooh, I heard they have slides," you know, stuff like that. Like <laughs> they're they think they're hip and cool and stuff. But I never found you know, fulfillment in every single day kind of thing. Like people, people usually say when they're passionate about their job and um, it's not really what I was looking for in the position of a mailman. You know, it's, uh, uh, in fact, a lot of people were just like, uh, don't you want something a little more fulfilling? I'm like, no, I really only care about fulfilling my pockets. And I get it. That's a funny joke. Yada, yada. But I, I do kind of like, uh, I understand where they're coming from. Like, um, on a macro level, I guess. Like, uh, what am I actually benefiting? Like, I feel like I'm helping the, the local community more. Like, people really appreciate, like, a good mailman. People don't appreciate a good tech support person. In fact, they they want to abuse someone who's willing to help above and beyond. Um, and maybe that's just my experience. Maybe I'm just not good at playing the game. That, that's also another thing. Like, there's so many like uh, like corporateness. There, there's a lot of like uh, a lot of mac micro games that you have to play to to win in a corporate level. And I, I'm just, it's not how I'm wired. You know, it, it never, it never clicked for me. And I, I, I've been in like tech, tech positions for, um, let's see. If we're to count like seven years of my adult life. I've never been in like a, in a really high paying role, you know, I've always stuck in the bottom just cause they, it, people, okay. So first of all, when you see an Asian person, they're like, oh yeah, you're probably good with computers. And I'm like, first of all, that's, that's stereotypical. It's not like a bad stereotype, but it's also kind of like not really that true. I just have, <clears throat> uh, how do I put this? in a in in a good light I I have a lot of patience to see something through and I think that helps a lot with uh, with technical issues in general a lot of times it's just somebody who's really impatient who wants something done now uh oh uh oh <laughs> Hold on, how do I do this? Okay. Oh, it still hit me. Oh, it's a brain genius of an arrow trap. Derek, you. I commend you for, for setting that one up. I 
You know, people on Mario Maker couldn't make that stuff up. I mean, they probably could. Okay. We need this damsel. 100%. Uh, helping hand. That's gonna be frustrating. I stop barking. I'm trying the best that I. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. No, no, no. I warned you. Oh, nice. You fell into my trap card. Um, okay, so what was I saying? Yeah, there's just a lot of like a lot of games you have to play uh, to succeed in a uh, technical role, especially if you. <laughs> and this is this is gonna come across as like, when? Hold on. But just from what I've seen, you know, there is a tiny bit of like. Uh, I I don't think anyone's gonna fight me on this either. But I, I want to not be like a woe is me situation. But specifically when you are an Asian who's like... People are already expecting a, a certain level from you. At like a technical level. Um, and I... I have to convince people I'm not that. <laughs> I'm just like a, a brass tacks guy trying to figure it out just like you. Um, and that's, that's not what they... That's not what most people uh, see slash expect because sometimes I have like, you know, little moments of genius, but a lot of times it's just walking right into a blue frog. Um, where's my... Uh, I have no more ropes. I'm at the end of my rope. Okay, well, where's my shoddy? There we go. Ay, ay, ay. How come? Well, into the abyss. I'm sorry, into the unknown. Into the unknown. Hmm. Okay, we are getting out of here. We have one health left. I. It, it wasn't. Hmm. I really wish we could have gotten that Kapala. Although, I'm not even sure if we've gotten... One sacrifice yet. But giving us a shrine on a freaking... Uh, dark forest. Don't do not do the clicky, ujit eye crap on me now. <laughs> Great timing. Okay, well, thank you so much for listening. Hope you enjoyed this episode. Hit that like button if you did. If you didn't, there's the thumbs down to that button works, I promise. Um, yeah. I'll catch you on the next one. Thank you so much for listening. Like that button. Like that button. Hit that sub um, to get notified and stuff. I'll see you on the next one. See you.